Ahoy hoy guys, welcome back. Haku Sam here, and we are doing another episode of Vampire. It's been a good while since I've actually played this last, and since I've done a recording of Vampire at the time of this episode. I think it's been about, oh, at least about two, two and a half weeks since I've done a recording at least. So I'm feeling like that's in a situation where you're Gandalf, and he's like, oh, I have no memory of this place. It has been established for some time now that Skull is the vernacular name of a different species of lesser blood drinkers. A Skull often seems to be the victim of a vampire attack who miraculously survived death and came back as a crooked version of its maker. According to many observations made by our order throughout the centuries, Skulls are generally despised and killed by vampires who consider them lesser and despicable creatures. The name itself means slave. They have also been called Sakaliba, Arabic. Uh, Scalavis, Latin, or Scalvianoi. Oh god, I fucking butchered that, didn't I? That was Greek. This shows how old these creatures are, and how their makers perceive them. This may be why Scals often tend to form small and discreet communities that stick together. It is also interesting to note that Scals seem to call themselves this way, as if they have accepted for a long time their status as inferior servants among vampires. It is more difficult for a Scal to hide its monstrous nature. Pale skin, terrible teeth, strange emaciation, dilated and staring pupils. Many have lost all hair, and they show wounds and scars, which stay open without ever completely healing. They also seem capable of surviving by eating the flesh of the dead, while vampires need blood from the living. They may be the real origin of the mythical figure of the ghoul, the folklore creature who lurks in cemeteries and feeds from the dead. A skull is a miserable creature. Most of the times, they fear to be seen by both humans and vampires. In some regions, older skulls have been witnessed nearby vampires as servants or slaves, obtaining protection by sacrificing their freedom. Most of the skulls are descended from echons and show humanoid silhouettes. Much more uncommon, some present a more canine appearance and behave like wolves. They are sometimes called vulpes in ancient texts. At least a third type exists in the shape of a bird or bat and a called corvus. William Marshall himself referred three times to some bat-shaped creatures he called vampire in his memoirs. Other types may exist unknown or unidentified for now. From the Drinking at the Fountain of Knowledge by Usher Talltree, the Primit of St. Paul. Now, I didn't mean to not pick that up before. But, the reason that we, we are reading about the Scowls and we're at the East End is we've got to go find Sean Hampton. He was the saint that we found in episode like 2 or 3. And we brought him to the hospital and then we got introduced to the hospital. So that's how we found him. So apparently he's now turned into a Scowl and he's bailed. And this is the like one location he's most likely to be in. Lottie Paxton. I did have a chat to these guys in the last episode. Like Giselle, I cannot wait to fucking eat her. She is such a fucking bitch. Oh. And, oh wait, Paxton and... Paxton, oh, so they're sisters. Good. I'm gonna save her for later. No need to know about my food at the moment. Wait, is that Sean? Oh, that's Shawnee boy. Okay. Shit is going to get real, I think, if I walk in there too soon. So we are going to do a quick gallivant around. just want to see if there's any, like, collectibles or anything else that I need to worry about. Still haven't leveled up in a while since I've done that big, uh... Eat fest after Dorothea. Look, I've got, yeah, 6-5 on me at the it's moment. The bomb exploded just after dawn in front of the Dawson and Dawson Munitions Factory, the largest employer in the district. The detonation smashed the windows of all the factories in North Southwark. Southwark, yeah. It's a miracle only two people died in the attack, confirmed Chief Superintendent Alexander Brighton. Thought that might have been a clue of some sort. Definitely seemed like we got a bit of a makeshift hospital. I reckon that locker will be open to us once we kill Sean. I noticed when I was taking out a few of the doctors in Pembroke that when you took them out they had like a little key and then they had like a little locker or something in their office that you could go through. And if you haven't been watching any of my other series, you will now notice that my headset does sound a bit different. I am not booming straight down your ear holes and giving you permanent damage. 
which is good. I ended up buying myself a new headset. And a wireless headset at that. I used to go wireless back in the day when I was a big fan of Razer, and then over time I just wasn't a fan of Razer anymore, so I moved on. So I went for a pair of Astros, that's, that's what I was rocking for a while. Now I'm using a pair of uh, Rig 800 HS. I don't think there's anything really more interesting down I guess that's a dead end anyway. Well, that's now as good a time as any, I guess, to go find the saint and eat him. Oh my god, who's whinging now? Lottie. Hey, you not know CBF with Lottie at the moment. We have a date with this guy. Oi, you. Not yet. You can wait till I steal your shit. So I don't have to come steal it later. Because let's face it, you're gonna probably lose your shit, you're gonna probably transform and fuck me up, and then I reckon you get, it'll be like one of those cat and mouse games. That's that's my gut feeling. And I said, B, this is still a blind run for me, like I haven't played through this at all. I've got some folded paper. What is, where is this folded paper? Ah, my folded paper. Ooh, hold the paper here somewhere. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to actually sit there and go through them all till I find it. CBF. Sorry, guys. Well, I think I'm as ready as I'm gonna get. Oi, you. We oh, have some things. Face. Oh, Jesus, you look a bit fucked up. <laughs> oh. Wow, you definitely look a lot worse for wear there, Mr. Hampton. It looks like we both have changed a lot. I must confess, it saddens me, Sean. Put your faith in the Lord, Doctor. He has a plan for all of us. We may not always see it, but he does. Since you left Pembroke, the amount of blood that has been shed... That's a nice angle, look at that. You, Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. You killed Harriet Jones. Actually, why rock back here? Is this just so you can get ready to eat? I'm curious. This is my home. These people are my flock. You will always find me where I am needed. Yeah, remember William Bishop. And what about William Bishop? He tried to take care of you. But this hunger, this thirst, cannot be restrained. Alas, poor William. He had a good soul. But was weak in spirit. He could not shake the thirst for booze, never mind blood. But have faith. My will is far stronger than his. I don't know, you'll leave me in a very interesting predicament. Wonders never cease. Just because Scowl, I do want to make this like the pro vampire eat every single person kind of doctor. Meals laid out before you. Yet you restrain. No, I don't. I don't restrain for anyone. I just ate everyone once you left. Cool being a polite fucking predator. Aren't you afraid of what you've become? We are blessed, Doctor. Can't you see it? The Lord has made us able to walk amongst the plague and aid those that need it. You must drink blood. No, I'm curious about this holy symbol. Do you think this is a blessing when God's own house and holy symbols repel you? If that is your burden, Doctor, so be it. But I do not fear the cross, nor am I forced to take the life of another. My kind doesn't share your imperfections. Oh, okay, so you're thinking that scowls are better than vampires. I, I can't have that. Okay, this, you may have gone towards being eaten. But you must drink blood now to survive. No, not your scripture. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last oh. day. Oh. So and it sounds like he wants to raise an army now. I only need to eat flesh. No blood. Yeah, but you still got to eat that flesh from people, don't you? Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, Doctor. Why would I do such a thing? Because you're a scowl. So you claim Miss Jones' death was not by your hand, nor the other incidents at Pembroke. Though Harriet was an angry, spiteful woman, she was one of God's creatures. 
I have nothing but love for all he has made. But you were close You're to her. Just of course. Very creepy. But she was lost, separated from the fold. She did not see the hand of the divine in my blessed condition. I am not convinced in the People slightest. Have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take uh, this key of the old sewers. The entrance is Oh, I thought he was going to take us somewhere and be like, here. I'm totally not going there to attack you. The and then he was going to totally attack. That was what I was expecting. I am intrigued. Very I am rather well. neutral. You have definitely intrigued me. I hope you're right, Sean. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a trap then, well, I surrender myself to your judgment. Good. Explore the sewers to discover Sean Hampton's secret. Give a dog a bad name. Well, this is an interesting turn. I thought this was just going to be a matter of, like, have a fight and then maybe he was going to run off and then you were going to have to chase him down until he died. Okay, that's still the Paxton sisters that my, my lock-on's trying to get to. The Lord Thames Banks. I think this actually might be a bit of a new location for me. Ah, that's right, we got our Super Sense. Also, since I've been playing last, the uh, there's a new pat uh, update for Vampire, which added in some new difficulty modes. So they added like an easy mode in, and a hard mode in, which I thought was pretty cool. I That was originally why I started playing, so I did read about that originally. I thought that it had been already implemented. But you know what, I'm, I'm not too fussed really about it. If anything now, if I'm looking back, I'd probably be leaning towards playing it on a higher difficulty. Because once I hit 22, I mean, the level gap's enough at the moment that I am pretty much wrecking everything. We don't need to call for damn shit. Gone. Alright, so another 20 metres away. Oh. Well, it's a bit of a misleading set of stairs. Well, not really. I guess if I walked up to it, whatevs. Alright. Two or three guys. Ooh. Alright, pre wooden chaplain. Something tells me you're going to be one of those cross wielding motherfuckers. Elite! Elite! No! Not a leech! This could be the public house Giselle Paxton mentioned. Oh. I should investigate further. I better go home, eh? Ow! Ow! I tried circles, I dodge button. Oh, that's right, now our claws is... Ow! Our claws! That's what I fucking thought. Alright, you can tell I haven't played for two weeks. My combat's a little off. I'm automatically going to like my other games that I've been playing over the last few weeks. Stolen money. Oh! Prewin has some unethical ways of financing their war. Hells yeah, so we just done ourselves a side mission without realizing it. I mean, nothing else I can see at the moment. I know I can jump over. Ooh. I think I do need to jump down. I'm just trying to think of some really cool, sneaky way to maybe take the advantage. I bet you won't like me by the time I'm done too! Oh, fucking dickhead! Oi! Fuck off with your fucking weird-ass paws and shit! Oh wow, you just wrecked him, didn't ya? One, and nope! Good day. Got some. I mean, just some scowls over here. And where there's anyone that's alive, we have blood. Oi! Oi! That's a lot better. Ow! Ow! No, I, I keep wanting to press X to dodge instead of circle, hence why I'm standing there and just taking it like a little bitch at the moment. Oh, 
Ha! I did it. It's all the small victories that count. Alright. Don't think there's anything else lingering around here at the moment. My sensors can't pick anything else up. Alright, so 60 meters and we can find the sewer entrance, I guess. And something tells me it's around here. Oh, what we do is we go... Nope! And then... Nope! Oh, you damn... Alright. Nope! Nope! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Nope, nope, nope. Oh, yeah, fucking. Oh, I hate those crosses. Something else of value. To the sewers we go. I reckon it's gonna be your sister, I reckon. Just something seeing, I've been going over like watching my old videos just so I can catch up with what I'm doing. And you had that vision with the, with Ascalon. But you only have that once you come back, like through the uh, cemetery. And your cemetery is where your sister is held. And the first person you eat in the game is your sister, and you do technically drink her blood. So if there's going to be some weird shit on how your sister ends up being your maker, I'm gonna, uh, I've called it. Alright, what else is... Alright, down here. Nothing else I'm picking up. It's a locked door. Here's some rats nearby. I think I'm, what should go top up my blood? Nope, 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 nope. Um, fucking down. See, no one's picking up at all, so there just mustn't be anyone nearby. So maybe my little scowl community might be a bit off and this just might be just a flat ambush. So that's it. These wheels control the water level. Up and then. Alright, that one might be broken by the looks of it. Can I do the vampire jump? Yuzz! Yes, I can. Which then puts me over this side. I wonder if I can... Shut properly now. Ha! Winning! Can't run any further up, so I must have only just come here just to break the barrels. Which means now, when I do this... One side, other side. I feel like the uh, government should be paying me to go clean out their sewers. I will take a 50 grand salary a year as a minimum. Ooh, five bucks that somehow miraculously did not, like, float at all the entire time it was there. Is this another secret lever? Nope. What else is down here? What is your secret? Hmm. Like, it's a big fuck-off door, obviously. It's some form of electrical box. But if it was covered in water, it's not going to do a damn thing, is it? I mean, we got, what? Random crate. Oh, I can walk out into the disgusting, disgusting sewer water. Question is, I reckon there's another. There's probably another lever or two I'm gonna have to activate. Methinks. So we hit those levers. They're sorted. Now we got what? This lever over here. Ah, success. Onward.
All right, definitely hear something for sure. What is it? He'll be a scowl of some sort. Nope, gone now. All right. Good. Some blood tracks. All right. Something's coming. Oh, it's a body. Looks like someone turning into a scowl, usually. Some bones. Need to obviously clearly get some uh, ornamentation happening in the sewers. Seem a bit too boring as it is. Enter at your own risk. Rats! This is despicable. You mean useful, right? Get in. I can't believe I'm doing this. You really? I mean, we've only been doing it for a few episodes now. Just make your peace. I don't care if you. I don't give two shits about your humanity anymore. I have this thirst for blood. And the blood trail continues. Fucking. How? It's got to be more than one person. Has to be. It's locked, all right. Oh, no vampire jump. Alright, there's a scowl. Oh! It's the Ascalon dude. He tried to threaten us before, an episode or two ago. He is just wrecking their shit. Look at him. These maggots have escaped the wrath of Ascalon for too long. It is time to purge the sewers of their filth. You again. The one they call the Sewer Dog. Hold your tongue, you boy, or I'll crush you like a maggot. I've got to admit, he is pretty much I'll do what I want kind of guy. A touch of lucidity. Ooh. So it's a fight with the Sewer Dog. Respect the laws of Ascalon. No, you can respect the laws of me. Like that and that. Shall snap like a bones in the board. Nope. 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 Alright, stamina's getting a little low. Yeah, who's the beast now? I'm the fucking beast, you grey shit. Two and three and back. Oh. Now you can do Shadow Beast as well. Oh, Jesus! Your Shadow Beasts are fucking brutal! Ow. Nope, nope. And then... I mean, we still have our, uh, what do you call it? Ultimate ability, too. Hey, he's getting ready. Ah, oh, you fucking bitch. Nope. No, you don't be doing any of that. All that, all that. Okay, I gotta get some blood happening off the looks of it. Crush you. Oh, you tried to fucking do one of those ones, eh? Now it's my turn for ultimates. Ha <laughs> ha! Get fucking wrecked! Sewer dog fucking beaten. Oh, that felt good. Is he actually dead though, or because I want the like, the option to actually eat him, drink every goddamn drop, and that like that's it? So are we to believe that the sewer dog was the one who came to the hospital and then ate Harriet? Is that what they're trying to get us to go down? Some common trigger parts, though, they'll come for in handy later on. Or I'm going to get up and he's going to get the fuck back up. Don't trust him. He's coming back, I betcha. 
At least one skull escaped Fergal's wrath. Do need some blood. Hoping there's a rat or two down here. The poor creature is bleeding to death. He cannot be far. I think we'll go that way when we're done, I reckon. At least if he's bleeding to death, he shouldn't try to attack me. Ooh, what's in here? Bullets and aluminium powder. I wish I could say that was useful, but it, it's, uh, it's actually not. Like, I haven't really used my guns ended up, like, at all. Just vampire powers just seem to do a lot better than a good old shotgun. I do want to do a, another human, like, playthrough at some point. Whether it's just, like, a personal playthrough for shits and gigs, or maybe something that I stream on Twitch for you guys, slash me. Oh, community of scowls. Nope. There'll be no drinking on my blood. On my watch, I mean. My blood on my watch. Oi. This is our domain, not yours. You've been warned. Wait, I saved you from this creature. That must count for something. Yeah, like some Thank fucking you. answers. Now go. Go back to the streets and houses. There is no love lost between us, vampire. But thank you. Hmm. Sean Hampton sent me. Let's Sean let's see Hampton that way one me. gets me. I believe he wanted me to find you. Who are you? But you must know. They call me Old Bridget. And this shelter is where we live. I'm Jonathan Reed. I'm a newborn Echo. I'm afraid I'm not sure what's going on. I shall not bend a knee, young Ekon, but I sense your pain. Ask, and I will afford you my attention. Yes, why was the Ascalon sewer, do or sewer dog after you, if why you are? Well, if he is the sewer dog, which I'm starting to think he might not be now. Virgil is the blunt instrument of the Ascalon Club. His masters would see us dead or turned into slaves if they had their way. Yes, what is Fergal? Is he technically an Ekon or is he something different? What the hell was that thing? Like a he subspecies? Wasn't an Ekon or a Skull. They are known as Volkod, an ancient offshoot of immortals. Ah! Drives them, enrages them. And what, what is the Ascalon, Ascalon Club? Club? Vampire societies elite in the Empire. They make the rules and enforce their judgment upon us whom they see as lessers. So it's very much that they believe, the Ascalon Club believes that they are pretty much royalty and that everyone else is a pack of plebs and then you have the Scowls who are absolute scum. So is it you that Sean Hampton sent me to find? Perhaps. The sad saint was always kind to us. He must trust you if he reveals our location. But can he be trusted? Sean is a Skull. All those I've encountered have been violent, crazed creatures. How can he be any different? How can you guys be any Maybe different? because he is the sad saint. Or perhaps because I am old Bridget of the Sewer Skulls. Sean killed a patient of mine. And that's just one of the murders he's being hunted for. If you refer to Harriet, she is now among us and under our protection. Wait, Harriet what? Jones is alive. That's it. Ooh. That's the proof Sean wanted me to find. I must talk the to her. The plot thickens. No. Harriet is not alive. But you can speak to her. I must warn you. She is fragile and may not receive you warmly. I don't understand. Yeah, I'm very confused. She is filled with bile and hate. Her mind is sharp as a tack. But her body is so weak. I've never seen its like before. She is resting in a room on the far right of this hideout. Thank you. I will bear that in mind. Well, <clears throat> so Harriet Jones is still alive, and she still sounds just the same as she usually does, filled with bile and hate. She just seems like she's a bit weaker now. We've taken out Fergal of the Ascalon Club, so we've 
definitely dealt a blow to them, I'd like to think. However, I would like to be able to have my, my chance to join them, because as I said, if I'm going to go full vampire run, I may as well just go full absolute vampire. On top of this, it does look like we found another community, with a couple of uh, silhouettes and whatnot, so maybe we can farm some people for XP, like get all their fucking XP markers going and shit. But next episode is going to be us seeing good old Harriet Jones, and then we'll decide what we're doing with Sean Hampton. So if you liked anything that I've been doing here, or anything from my other solo series, or any of our group content, if you could like, comment, subscribe, really do appreciate it, I'll have all links down below. And make sure that you guys hit the notification bell, because we upload most days, and we don't want you guys missing out. So, till the next episode of our Vampire Run, I am Marky Sam, and you, Iron Dude, go back. Peace!